Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another double cigar review. And today uh, we have another cigar that we will be reviewing with. Smoke one if you have one, Eric, because we are in the whole battle and search and hunting down all the Year of the Dragon cigar for the Year of the Dragon to smoke. And this one will be our, what, third or fourth one? Uh, I can't remember. But yeah, we have this one and we have another few more coming. But this one is a long one, so better take the time to to smoke so this one is the floor selva uh annual the dragon what well, you're the dragon right so it's by maya selva cigar company which is very confusing because uh i had a conversation with albert uh a shadow Smith media member about this like she like he thinks that this is a french cigar and i think that you know she's just confused she have no idea where she's having her company and where the cigar is made this is a Honduras Pure. It's definitely not a French cigar. So, we will see what we can get out of this. So like I said, it's a Honduras Pure. Uh, it is seven and a half by 52, double Corona, which is a Churchill. And uh, it retails for $24.50. I don't remember how much I bought it for, but we bought two of these so that we can review. Now, I don't have the box for it, but um, I can honestly tell you now that Probably put a picture right there. I don't like this box. I don't like how they made the dragon into this weird Mayan drawing of this dragon. This dragon doesn't look like a dragon, so don't like it. <clears throat> so I didn't go, and I don't know. Understand why they had to make Churchill for the Yellow Dragon? I, I I don't know if there's a meaning to that, but we'll see. All right, let's get started with removing this footband. By the way, we have. 50 year anniversary merch. You want to support Shadow Smoke's Legion? Links are should display under this video somewhere. But it's not mandatory. If you want to rock a merch like a Shadow Smoke Legion supporter, it's there. Uh, come on. Okay, we. Come on. Yeah. All right. So the footband. Obviously ripped off a little bit of tobacco because it won't come off. But it wouldn't it shouldn't be a too much a problem. Shouldn't be too much. Alright. $24.50. Let's go. So yeah, like the the whole box has this uh weird look like a dragon, but not really dragon logo. I really don't like it. So yeah, this foot band ripping part of my tobacco off. Don't like it. Mm, the smell is kind of neutral. There's not much smell to it. So I don't know what's there. But yeah, let me turn on the fan. <laughs> Where's the cutter? There it is. <clears throat> All right. Cut the foot. Off and a cap off of me. <clears throat> Cold draw tastes like uh, leafy, woodsy, musty taste. A little bit of pepper, little hints of pepper. All right. Let's go. Year of the Dragon. Let's go. 
Uh, a few more Yellow Dragon I would have to get. I think the hardest one's got to be Oliva's Yellow Dragon because that one you can only get in the airport. Uh, I'm going to try to look for it when I travel, but it's got to be far. How far? Because it's going to be China Airport. Very scenery. Some spice. Mm. Very little bit of barnyard. Cedar. A little bit of and try to see there's some a little bit of pepper so a little bit of that spice mixture i want to say a little bit of toasted nut too that's what it smells like some sort of either peanuts or something like that Yeah, that's what I got right now. So I'll smoke one third. That will take forever and I will be right back. All right. So one third of the way through. First third, actually not bad. It's got a little bit of cedar. It's got a little bit of like toasted nuts. It's got a little bit like mushroom. So I'll give a little bit of mushroom, mustiness and earthiness to it. And um, like a grain cracker sweetness to it too. It's got a lot of thing going on um, and they kind of come in sequence, not together, come in sequence. So it's actually kind of nice. There's a little bit of um, how do I describe that? Uh, how do I describe? This little bit like a cycle, right? You start with the mushroom and then it, it, it goes like the, the darkest notes, right? The, the mushroom, pepper and cedar and then, um, you know, uh, other like uh, and cedar and then graham cracker sweetness and then the pepper kind of like sparkling through. It's it's kind of nice. First though, it's kind of nice. I like it. Uh, it's not very strong cigar. I will say just about medium, if anything, uh, for the cigar right now. So. Pretty good, it, despite of what I don't like about the footband and cracking it and stuff like that. It was actually giving me a tunnel or channel uh, while I was smoking it, but that channel did not go crazy. It just stayed there, and eventually the ash worked its way through. Nothing else happened. It will it correct itself. So, so far so good. Now we're gonna get into the second third. I have a feeling it's gonna get sweeter and nicer. So, we'll see. I mean, be right back. All right, two third. I would say that the, the taste notes are pretty much the same. It has a, what it got now is more of that sweetness, more of that cedar, more of that. I would say like peanut butter, but leathery peanut butter taste. It's still really, really good. I'm, I'm surprised how good this is. Um, I mean, it's a pleasant cigar. It's not something like, oh, there's a lot of changes and a lot of amazing notes. But, you know, if I if I want to compare this with all the other Yo, the dragon that we smoked it, and this is consistently good. So, um, you know, second, third, still enjoyable. I enjoy it a lot. I actually puff a lot faster than I thought I would because the, the flavor isn't bad. So I'm on the last third now. And, um, you know, I, I, I hope that the, the flavor either changes for the better or continue to increase uh, the, the strengths about medium. There's, there's no change on that. But, you know, for a cigar this long, I, I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain. Um, uh, I'm surprised that I'm smoking this long cigar. I haven't got bored yet. I actually thought this, the, 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 the flavor is nice. The little bit of like mushroom mustiness actually you know, enhanced it for some reason. And here's the thing. Uh, let me try again. <laughs> this is the weirdest shit. 
So if you were smoking this cigar and you just drink like, you know, regular coffee with a little cream, I'm not kidding. It tastes like hot chocolate. It really does. Take a puff of this, drink the coffee. The note comes after that is hot chocolate. At first, I thought it was from the cigar. So I took a few more puffs without the drink and there was no hot chocolate. But whenever I take a drink, the drink tastes like hot chocolate. So I was like, oh my God. So yeah, but they, unfortunately it's not part of this thing. I think whatever note that's in there that kind of wants to mix with like milk or something like that, it kind of had that hint of hot chocolate. For me, it did. So, um, but it wasn't in this cigar. But that just made my combo today, coffee and, and cigar more enjoyable because every so often I took a sip, I taste hot chocolate. So anyways, last third, Be right back. All right, here we go. Last third. So last third, I think I got a little bit uh, in addition to what is already there. That mushroom is like so upfront. I um, I also got a little bit of licorice sweetness. So it's like different kind of sweetness kind of works its way in. Pepper got a little bit sharper, but it's not more spicy, just sharp. So I think it's very interesting. It, it, however they did this way like a lot of people did honduras cigar wrong and uh this one is one i would say this honduras down right and and it's really really good 25 bucks i'll give you 25 bucks 25 bucks is there there is 25 bucks in here in fact this this like 26 bucks it will be fine too you know it's it's actually a pretty good cigar for for a churchill size I didn't feel bored. I didn't feel like, oh my God, it's a really long cigar when I'm smoking it. Uh, the, the flavor is consistently there. It's very enjoyable. I was having a chat with uh, in the Discord and uh, um, and we were just chatting and it did not bother me at all. This cigar smoked the whole way through, flavored the whole way through. There is no problem with this cigar at all. So definitely worth the money. I like it. Um, this is something that I would recommend people to get at least one stick or five pack or something like that. It's, it's a good cigar, especially to celebrate Year of the Dragon. It, it works. It works. Okay. Ban. There you go. Not a crazy ban. Not, not, not very, you know, special or whatnot. Yeah, not nothing particular uh, on there. I know that they use annual the dragon. Uh, Maybe that's the reason why Gurkha cannot sue them because it's not Year of the Dragon, it's Anya of the Dragon. And plus, she probably released the cigar originally in Europe first and then over here. So Gurkha didn't have a chance to sue them yet. So, you know, good cigar. I, I highly recommend it. If you're looking for a Churchill cigar and you want a flavorful Honduras tobacco, this is it. This is probably so far one of the good Churchill that I smoke. I like it. So yeah, and that will be it for this particular review and make sure to check out Eric's side of that review. I, I told Eric this is a good cigar, he needs to review it soon. So hopefully he will do that soon and then we'll release it at the same time, same day, in the usual fashion of our double uh, cigar reviews uh, for this particular cigar. So make sure to like, subscribe, check out both sides and uh, comment and share this videos and you know, if you want to support the channel, we have merch, we have uh, membership where it gets you to uh, watch some of uh, my reviews uh, sooner. And also eventually we'll, review, uh, we'll release the, uh, some content on making of the In The Shadow Cigars in the members uh, section as well. So I hope you guys uh, continue to support uh, this channel. All right, uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.